Today, our discussion is about designing an LCL filter for grid-connected single-phase inverter. First, we will look at why do we need a filter for grid-connected inverter. Without filter, the current generated by the grid-connected inverter is something which looks like this. It contains lots of harmonics. When we inject this kind of current into the grid, it deteriorates the, the grid voltage and hence causes lots of power quality issues. In order to avoid all these issues, we always keep a filter at the inverter output. So when we connect a filter, we will get very smooth sinusoidal current without any harmonics. This is how we connect the filter, with inverter and grid. L1 is the inverter side inductor, and, L2 is the grid side inductor. Our design process includes, finding the value of, L1, L2, and capacitor. LCL filter is widely used in grid connected inverter, due to its superior performance. Now we will look at the capacitor design. Capacitor is designed based on the amount of reactive power it absorbed. It can take reactive power from the source or the grid. As a thumb rule, reactive power absorbed by the capacitor is limited to, 5% of the rated power. We know that, reactive power can be written as, Q is equal to, V square divided by, 1 by 2 pi Fc. Now apply the 5% condition, then, V square divided by, 1 by 2 pi Fc is equal to, 5% of rated power. This can be rewritten as, V square into 2 pi Fc is equal to, 5% of S. Therefore, C is equal to, 0.05 into S divided by, V square into 2 pi F. Now substitute the values from the given specification. We will get value of capacitance as, 6.01 microfarad. Now we will look at the design of inductor. The design of inductor is based on two conditions. Value of inverter side inductor is selected, based on the max permissible ripple current. As a thumb rule, current ripple should be limited to, 20% of the rated current, and that is the first condition. We have equation for inductance L1 is equal to VDC divided by, 4FSW into, delta IPP max. Derivation of this equation I have explained in my inverter design video. I will leave the link in the i button. Now substitute the values from specifications, we will get, L1 is equal to 4.06 millihenry. Now for the design of grid side inductor, we have our second criterion. That is, maximum voltage drop across the inductor is limited to, 10% of rated voltage. Let's write the equation for the voltage drop across the inductor. That is VL1 plus L2 is equal to, I into XL1 plus L2. Where XL1 plus L2 is the, total inductive reactance. That will give VL1 plus L2 is equal to, I into, 2 pi F into, L1 plus L2. Now apply the 10% criterion. Then, I into, 2 pi F into, L1 plus L2 is equal to, 10% of V. We know that, current can be written as, power divided by voltage, that is S divided by V. Substitute in the equation, we will get, L1 plus L2 is equal to, 10% of V divided by, S by V into, 2 pi F. That will give, L1 plus L2 is equal to, 0.1 V square, divided by, S into 2 pi F. Now substitute values from the specification, we will get, 8.41 millihenry as L1 plus L2. Therefore L2 is equal to, 8.41 minus 4.06, that is 4.35 millihenry. Final step of our design process is, we need to verify the values we got. Verification is based on the, resonance frequency of the, LCL filter. As a thumb rule, the resonance frequency should always be within the range of, 10 FG less than resonant frequency, less than 0.5 FS. Where FG is the grid frequency, which is 50 Hz, and, FS is the switching frequency, which is 10 kHz. So, the resonance frequency should be within, 500 Hz and 5 kHz. Equation for resonance frequency is given by, F resonance is equal to, 1 by 2 pi into, root of L1 plus L2 divided by, L1 L2 C. Substitute the values of, L1 L2 and C in this equation. We will get, resonance frequency as, 1415.88 Hz. This value is, well within the range, and hence, we can confirm that our designed values all are good. That is the end of this presentation. Thank you.